Hi, welcome to A2Z Knowledge.com. So today we are going to discuss about the difference between data analyst, data engineering and data scientist. And before we get into this topic, uh, uh, one thing I just wanted to tell you. Data analyst used to give input for data engineers and data engineer used to give input for data scientists. So if you, if you have this in the mind, it will be easy for you to uh, grasp the remaining things what I say. Okay, so we are going to see what are all the uh, roles, what is these roles and what are all the text of these people has to know. Okay. Now, if you take data analysts, basically what they do, the data analysts is a people used to uh, uh, give requirement for the data engineering team and these people will implement it. So here, what are all the uh, stuff they need to know for sure? That means I can categorize as strong. What they need to know and what, what in what they want to be, uh, need to be very strong. So they need to be very good in data domain. It's very, very important. So data domain is something, the business. So if you are working for a retail company or an e-commerce company or, or, or a retail or a telecom or a finance or banking, you need to know about your business, your data. And if I ask you like, what is this table and in this table, what is this particular column is doing? You are supposed to say that. So you need to be very good in data and then you need to be very good in Excel. It's very mandatory skill set that a data analyst needs to be. Have. So people used the data analyst used to represent the stuff, the data and the transformation logics in Excel, and these people will give all the transformation what is need needed by the client as a theoretical form, and that I need to convert into the practical stuff with the technology what I'm using in as a data engineer. Okay, so they need to be very good in Excel, and they need to be very good in some BI tools like a business intelligence tools like it could be Tableau, ClickView. It's optional means when I say optional. You can pick any one of the BI tools and just you need to be very strong in them because you are going to represent the data even in that format or you need to understand something from that UI if someone shows to you, right? So that's it. And, and intermediate. So uh, it's like you don't want to be strong, but you need to be like good at least. So and this is something like I can say optional. But if you know this, like not an a master, you don't want to be master in whatever I'm going to list here. Just you need to know it. That's it. So you need to be uh, somewhat good in SQL is wide enough. You don't want to be an expert and you don't want to learn SQL, SQL with respect to the product like Oracle SQL or MySQL SQL or DB2. It's just a plain vanilla SQL, a common SQL is fine and you need to know the joins and insert, create, delete, DBL, DML, DCL, the basic stuff is enough. And then you need to be good in data warehouse concepts, theoretically, but not practical. But you need to know theoretical, the concepts of data warehouse. Because when people used to discuss across the teams, we used to use a lot of data terms and you need to understand it, right? So, so you need to have some theoretical stuff of data warehouse. And a programming language, I can prefer Java or Python. But it's up to you, even you know C++ is fine. But again, programming language is not a very mandate skill for a data analyst, but it's good to know at least the basic syntax and stuff, how to uh, create a code, how to deploy it, how to execute, compile, run, those stuff. So it's, it's, it's up to you, it's not means like, it's up to the uh, basic level, it's not like you don't want to be uh, master in those stuff. And then you need to know the basic concepts and a, a little bit practical of ETL. So, ETL is something belongs to data engineers and these data engineers people, okay, so you have a data engineering team and they use an ETL tool called Informatica. Then as a data analyst, I need to know a little bit about what is Informatica and how people are working in it. And if your data engineering team is working in big data, then I need to know something about big data. Big data also comes under ETL. So to give a better content for the video, I have referred some of the content in internet. Mostly what people used to say, a data analyst need to know a little bit the concept of big data, big data. It's, it need not to be a big data. See, you have hired as a data analyst for a data engineering team. And that data engineering team is working on a tool called Informatica as an ETL tool. Then you need to know only Informatica. It's need not to be that you need to know big data. It's not like that. Like you, you need to understand it very well. Fine. So any ETL what your data engineering team using, you need to know about it. Little bit, that's it. And fine. So see, if I'm hiring a data analyst, I used to hire you with these form formula. See, some data analyst used to come and tell you, see, I'm very good in Python. So people used to get confused. Uh, so why a data analyst is coming and admitting saying that he's good in Python and good in ETL tool, a data engineer only needs to be very good in this, right? But why data analyst is saying that? So don't get confused. He is a data analyst for the company. But he put some extra effort to learn those stuff in complete, means a complete manner. 
so that means he can act both as data analyst and data engineer okay you you should not get confused right so it's it's up to them as an individual they can learn anything but they hired for a data analyst with these jd okay but later then they are good at programming sql etl means in future they can go for a data engineering role as well but don't don't get confused with what you are data you are in your company you have a data analyst who still all the uh, skill set of a data engineer means don't get confused so they have learned it and they are eligible for a data engineer but a role of data analyst and the requirement is this coming to data engineer and strong okay so he need he or she needs to be very good in sql very good in programming language and data warehouse theoretical concepts and etl tools to which you are hired for if you are a data engineer for informatica you are hired for then you need to know informatica very well in and out and you need to have an experience and you are hired for big data then you need to know big data and those stuff and i i, I don't i cannot give you a list of intermediate skill set and this is what wide enough it's a you need to be strong in these stuff for sure and what data engineer used to do they give what happened in the data right so that is an input for a data scientist and one more difference between these two guys right so data engineer used to tell you what happened in the data and data scientist used to tell you what is going to happen in the data that's a difference between and as a strong uh, skill set what you need to know as a data scientist you need to be very good, good in statistics mathematics algorithms and you need to know all the data science tools whatever machine learning frameworks or artificial intelligence framework deep learning framework for whatever the tool that you are hired for and then you need to be very good in programming languages especially python r kind of language which has lot of mathematical library so we prefer people used to prefer these two language and you need to be good in bi tools again not only the analyst and you also need to have means if you are a data scientist and the people need to know uh, about bi tools and here i can give you an intermediate stuff okay what role the intermediate things and data scientist uh, it's an add on advantage to have again uh, uh, a little bit about etl stuff data warehouse concepts in theory sql to little bit some extent is wide enough and they don't want to be very they don't want to be very strong in these stuff and imagine uh, last one point i want to tell you is see as a data engineer i'm telling you this is all my skill set addition to it i'm saying i know all these stuff then don't get confused then he is eligible to do both data engineer as well as the data scientist and uh, we have we have some people really uh, means people are working really with all these three as one single person is also working so then they used to give a separate role for him as a solution architect or something like that or even people used to call a data scientist who has all these knowledge or a skill set right because this is the leading one so people who know all the three they used to call it as a data scientist also sometime okay so uh, uh, it's like i'm explaining you the roles and and the tech stack which is required for the roles as i'm repeatedly telling you the point you are interviewing a data analyst okay you are interviewing a data engineering uh, engineer guy and he is saying i know all this stuff yeah you are you are clear but then add on to this suddenly the data engineer tells you i know all this stuff they don't get confused so the data engineer on his own interest he learned all these stuff that means he's eligible for both so you don't think okay data engineer should know all these again it's not like that so they don't want to know these stuff but again it's an individual uh, interest to know all these stuff but this is the uh, uh, kind of a vanilla chart i can give you what is the difference between the roles and thanks for watching a to z knowledge.com if you really like this video subscribe to the channel and follow this to your friends and colleagues we do lot of tech videos in two languages english and tamil and we have lot of uh, practical video as, as well not only the theoretical one and i have given my uh, linkedin url and the instagram url in the description box of this video if you want to follow me on connect me you can do that thanks for watching a to z knowledge.com